Mobile head. We gotta Ooh. suture that. Ooh. Oh, there's Tatiana bits. That turned me on. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is John Yu. I'm Korean American, 27 years old, and this is a day in my life as a pediatric dental resident. Just kidding. It's not actually like that. Let's see what we have for breakfast. Well, that's rhetorical because I eat the same thing every day. I don't know if I have taste buds anymore. <laughs> I think they've atrophied from lack of use. My mom has tried her absolute best to get me to try to cook more tasty food because she thinks that with this kind of robotic lifestyle, I might never find a girlfriend. But it's on my to-do list for 2019. So if anyone can help me out, let me know. Lately, I've been having really random thoughts in the morning. One of which being, how do people balance relationships on top of their very busy lives? I thought it would get easier with age, but I find that it's getting harder. Um, is there something that I'm doing wrong? <laughs> Off to school? Yes, are you excited for school? <laughs> Say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day, my friend. Wait, not yet. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. Okay, bye. bye. Yeah. Alright, on the way to Z Hospital. A good day. Feeling a little less ugly and clean. Try to get to the hospital by 7.15. When we have morning lectures, they usually start around 7.30. But today we don't have lecture. I have what's called sedation. And during my sedation block, I'm expected to be there a little bit earlier to set up the equipment and the paperwork. One of the only good things about living close to the hospital <laughs> is that save a lot of time in the morning not having to commute. City commute can be very unpredictable. So being able to walk five minutes to the hospital, which you see right there, it's always a good thing. Going into this program, I definitely underestimated how much time I would be working in this building. But I think it's a good thing. I'm getting a lot of experience and I'm learning a ton. So welcome to my workplace slash hell. <laughs> this is Jacoby. Morning, how are you? Good, good. So we entered the main lobby. To the left is where we go for emergencies when we get called via pager. We're on call every five days here because we have five pediatric dental residents. We take call up to kids 18 years old. So you can see here, this is the children's and adults emergency. It's kind of blurry because it's focused on my ugly face. And we made it to the call room, which is where residents sleep overnight when they're taking call and they live kind of far away. You got everything you need. We got, we got, we got fresh wood. We got some, some metal here. Bed sheets are changed every day. Hopefully, a standard everywhere. Uh, you might have seen on my Instagram stories, <laughs> my love for call. Essentially, I have a pager, as you can see here. When this rings, I have to be here within. 30 minutes for regular call and 15 minutes for trauma. Any trauma cases will come here, which is really cool. Lacerations from here down to the mouth, which means a cut from here to here, kids falling, knife wounds. There are a couple people like Dr. Greg Yunoff, my classmate from Columbia, who I consult any time of the day. So he's always awake, absolute beast. Let's go check out the clinic now, which is right down the hallway. 
So sedation involves medicating patients prior to procedure for one, behavioral reasons, and two, the extent of the treatment. We require meticulous consent forms and health history to ensure that it is a safe procedure for these patients. In future videos, I plan to talk more about why I chose to dedicate my life to crying children, uh, screaming babies, and backbreaking labor. Just kidding. That's only part of the fun. Just a quick update because we're not able to film inside the treatment rooms. It's 2.45. You can see here. Didn't get to eat lunch, but that's almost a given during this sedation slash anesthesia rotation. We are with patients from treatment to recovery, and the recovery can take a while if the patients are knocked out or feeling drowsy. I'd say the toughest thing about this block is constantly being hungry. <laughs> I get really hungry. Um, I, I love eating. I need to eat, I get really hungry. So not being able to eat from when was breakfast, like 6.30 a.m. to sometimes 5 p.m. Well, that's like normal for some people. For me, it's painful, but whatever. Just gotta suck it up. Anyway, um, behind on the operating room booking appointments, I should go do that now. Ta-da! My brown rice, chicken, Yes! I've been, I've been thinking about this food for the past couple hours. I have 10 minutes to eat before the evening lecture. 5 p.m. Target, target, target. Hello, my love. Hello. 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 Bok Jo Wim, though. 5 p.m. Chicken in the middle. 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 Jay, that's my roommate. Alright. Target. What do you think about residency? What I think of the residency? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this is Jacobi Kunde. Mm. Yeah. Jacobi yeah. 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 You know <laughs> that turned me on. It will cause a massive dump of all these catecholamines that are stored in the nerve terminal, and that can cause hypertension and arrhythmia. So I actually like the fact that we have classes. It's hard to study after clinic, so. Uh, being forced to sit and lecture, I think, is um, is beneficial for my education. On either Sunday or Monday, my roommate and I will set aside one or two hours and meal prep for the entire week. And this saves a lot of time because we just have to microwave our food before we eat. And don't get us wrong, we have our cheat meals. We order Papa John's occasionally, but we have evening clinics. We're dead. What's what the last up? thing we want to do is eat chicken. Uh, should we make this a insightful ending to a vlog? What kind of insightful? <sighs> so we're we'll sitting here eating chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good too. So I want to know, Jay. Mm. Is this what life is? You work like a dog. Mm. You make a little money, and then you die. Yeah. You don't get to even spend the money. <laughs> Your children aren't gonna spend the money. <laughs> and you just work. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked any part of it, please let me know in the comments Whoa. and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like any part of it, let me know what you didn't like in the oh, comments no. and then give me a thumbs up. Really, I appreciate your guys' support. The baby crying in the hall. Maybe I should go save her. Be on the lookout for more, because I'm just getting this party started. Cut! Okay.